Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Rike and Asana. The first thing I'm going to talk about are the main advantages and disadvantages of both of these tools. Then I will compare pricing, also what are the main features and what I actually like and don't like about both of these tools. Now, I'm not paid by any of these tools or like better saying programs to promote them. I'm just going to give you my honest review. Their honest review is that both of these tools are extremely good and effective. I, I wish that the one would be much better than the other. But what is my recommendation, my honest recommendation? Test both of these tools, what you actually like. In my eyes, Rike is much easier to use and it's much simpler comparing to Asana. Now, in what way they are kind of different and in what way Asana or Rike has an advantage? Rike has advantage because you can create dashboards and you can create forms here or reports. This is like really good. Now, Rike has lists. Then they have boards, tables, and gun charts. Asana has a board. They have also timeline. They have the calendar, dashboard, progress, and you have also conversation here, conversations here, and files. And you choose you like what do you actually need? Because in this way, they are almost really similar. And for me, it's much easier to use Rike comparing to comparing to Asana. Now to go even further, and what I want to talk to is pricing. The pricing, uh, Rike has also free option up to five users. So we can have board view, task management, file sharing, real time activity stream. And it's like enough for, um, I would also compare it to like Todoist. Yeah, and Notion that Rike is all right. Now Asana has also the basic, unlimited tests, unlimited projects, and then they have the premium business enterprise and they have professional business and enterprise also the right one now you have the 9.80 dollars per month on professional here you got 11 euro so in this way oh right is cheaper but this depends what do you actually expect from both of these tools when you would click even let's say that i'm going to go on my table here and I'm going to open my tasks. You can simply attach your files. And this is like really simple. There is not that much you can do. Also in premium version, you can do the time tracking Then you can track how much time you actually spend on your task or subtasks. In Asana, it's same when you would like add a field here and play around it. What is also the advantage of a right that you can have budgeting uh, there comparing to Asana. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. And to summarize the whole video, both of these tools are great. If you're gonna choose one or the other, you made a good choice. So yeah, thank you very much. Test it out on both. You will have links down below in the description. And goodbye, see ya.